Good evening one and all. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, unfortunately, we seem to be experiencing some glitches tonight. A few of the guys are struggling to get online. I've already been kicked once. I hope I don't get DC during the race. So we've got eight guys in the lobby at the moment. Hey, how are we yes. looking at the chat's already full? How are we doing, guys? Remington, Razor, Prof, Twigs? <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, and there goes my game. No. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll, I'll cover all of this over with the current leaderboard. How about that? Nobody knows what's happening <laughs> at the moment. So, um, <laughs> as everyone tries to reconnect, um, the leaderboard is looking like this. So, we've got Easter currently running away at the front, 10 points clear with 120. And then um, we've got um, Mech in second place, 110. Road Rat is actually one of the guys struggling, I think, at the moment to connect. Um, he is online, um, but not in the lobby. <laughs> yeah, Prof, you know it never changes. And I, I hope this seriously does change, though, for whatever they release next, whatever they call it. I hope they sort this out. Um, yeah, so that leaves a Reaper in fourth. He's the one that's got the most to gain here, really. Um, Sully in fifth. Uh, Albert's with electrical troubles at home. Um, so that's the reason he's not joining us in the lobby. Um, Iceman has actually gone, so he's going to have to try and reconnect, which I hope doesn't screw... Yeah, I'm busy. Okay, you're still I'm in party chat. In. Okay. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> my fear then was he was going to mess with party chat. No, no, no. The party chat is on the PC, so it doesn't mess with it. It's just the game or the Xbox crashed out of the game, so that's good. Uh, not good, but it's yeah, it's not good. <laughs> it's better than Oof. having no party, eh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna Get try and see down. if I can join back on you. Okay, cool. Ooh, okay. we may have to start with low numbers. This must be the lowest numbers we've seen this year in the semi-pro. Yeah, in the semi-pro especially. Yeah. So unfortunate. No, I don't want to send Skunkworks a message. I want to join his game. <laughs> So we've still got the front runners in the race, though. We've got Aster, Mech, Reaper. Oh, of course not. Um, Road Rat. Very disappointing. There we go. And I'm sharing the wrong link. Actually, wanted to share the multi-link from yesterday what was it activated today uh, what's that the link yes that multi -link. okay there we go so if yeah, you guys I'm are looking for multi-view you can fo follow that link yeah i'm sending it out there it is Okay, so what does I've got a close up for the guys in my stream. I've got a close up of my driver. Uh, while it's loading, I don't know how this game is doing this funny stuff now. Is uh, are you monitoring chat there, Iceman? Is anyone needing us to hang on, or can we launch? Um, I'm just waiting for me to uh, launch back into the lobby. Oh right. Uh, then we can head off. I'm not seeing anyone in chat saying we need to wait okay uh, and the final round as well soul destroying yeah so a couple of guys might drop out of their position of uh, going to pro next year or for the next series um i know the gap between reaper and road rat is uh, it's tight. almost 30 points it's 28 points, so yeah, a Reaper can definitely still <laughs> get in front of Road Rat. Uh, Sully is going to... No, I'm lying. It's not 30 points. It's 18... It looks like 18 points, actually, between Road Rat and Reaper. So if he can get 18 points, he's going to go above uh, Road Rat. And Sully is like 22 points behind Road Rat. So Road Rat can still drop down to fifth... Even, uh, fifth place easily um a seventh place so jean me is not racing and albert's in sixth place is also not racing so the lowest road rat can go is um 
uh, fifth place. Um, my game is not loading incorrectly, so I'm just going to reload in. Right, okay. It's just showing me a big. <laughs> well, you, your gamer tag <laughs> was loaded in, but then it just disappeared. No, well, it, it it was just loading on my helmet the whole time. It was showing my driver's face, the entire screen. So it, something was not loading right. Sounds painful. Xbox, yeah, yeah, Xbox is full of nonsense today again. Looks by the looks of it. Oh, listen, you guys, uh, for the guys that watched last night, um, the sounds that there was a bit of sound issues. So I want to know if those sound issues are sorted out now. Okay, I am in the lobby, and we can actually go. Okay, we just need Buck Tomb to ready up, <laughs> and then we are good to go. I'm going to jump on the back. As always, you're on spectate. All is good. Oh, Sully's oh, DC. Lost Sully as well. Oh. No, Sully has just sent a message now that he said he won't be able to race tonight, so he needs to go. Oh, that is unfortunate. And there we go. So it's all up to Reaper. Okay, sprint on. Okay, everyone is ready up. Uh, let's let's rock this boat, okay, I'm gonna jump on board with Reaper in the mid pack. All right, and with a step. See how these guys cope. We turn one in the dark. There we go, they're off. And, uh, that's it. Turn one. Whoa, that's five okay, so abreast, we've got surely. On the outside, he's already up to fourth place. He's going to try and go up the inside of Buck Tomb oh. in turn two. No, he's not. Uh, slots in fourth place. Well, the B team. Uh, Aster already. Oh, okay. So Reaper's got down to third place. Aster is already up into fifth place from the back. Buck Tomb and Reaper not giving each other much space. You see the so sparks. That's going to allow Aster just to fly past Reaper for third place. Oh, Reaper late on the brakes manages to get third place back. Aster's doing oh, a fantastic job. He's up into fourth position already. He Ye is Mech and challenging for third with, yep. uh, with Reaper. Mech managing to follow him through. Vehicle going wide. Reaper up the inside. Oh, there's contact. Aster and Ezekiel. Mech goes through. Bug Tomb, Swart Wolf. Oh. oh, he's waiting. Aster dropping back oh dear all the way back he's doing the right thing place i don't think ezekiel realized and that he was got, actually letting go there we've got reaper on the outside of spring con oh run is very wide that's gonna open it up to make my day to grab second place make my day on the outside oh close between them but that Ute has just got enough power coming out of the corners. Yeah, well, aster has got it all to do. He's got looking up the inside of Ezekiel. Whoa! <laughs> Sprunk on, make my day side by side, coming through to the chicane. Ezekiel lets him pass in the end. Oh. Good choice. Okay, they're coming this around. Very close between Mick and uh, Reaper. We're all coming around to end the first point. lap, thank goodness. Not too many fireworks. Right, can Aster... And Mech My Day has just unleashed that ute and it's just breaking away from uh, Reaper. Yeah, I'm going to jump on board with Mech now. And there's 10 points difference between these teammates in the, uh, mm -hmm. the championship at the moment. So if Mech can get himself at the front... Mm -hmm. Oh, what's happened there? Contact Reaper, Mech and Swartwolf. <laughs> Aster's almost going to take... And Aster is back up oh. to third. Total confusion at turn place. one. Oh. 
Swartwolf now finding himself in second place, battling off these two youths. What can Reaper do? Well, you can say anything you like, but you can't say anything about the sportsmanship. They were all a little bit too polite there. <laughs> Way too polite. Uh, Aston now up to th uh, second place ahead of Swartwolf. Mech trying to follow his brother around into third. Yes, he is in third. <laughs> we've, just gets the power down. We've got Razor in chat. He said he's having flashbacks to last night. You know, with watching the uh, <laughs> night race. <laughs> hmm. He's still in recovery. So, by sheer luck, um, Aster has found himself in P2. Um, and this time last lap, he was in P7, was it? Okay. Yes, about... The spring car is just about to come under some pressure. I'm not sure he realizes a mech's going with Aster. Same equipment. Sprinkarm was sharing some videos earlier of him drifting around the track. Very cool. <laughs> That's good. Whoa, he's going wide into this final turn. Let's see if he can use that on the exit. Oh, nicely done. What a great move. Fantastic there. Brilliant move for first place around spring con there makes looking up on the inside spring con's feeling like he's getting mugged at the moment by the b-boys gonna jump on board with <laughs> spring con <laughs> I'm just reading it on the back of Springcon's car. It says, "Watch out for the idiot behind me." <laughs> <laughs> oh, good stuff! So the two brothers is having a good battle now for first place. Yeah, they're beginning to. Aster said last night he's not feeling this track, and uh, Mick, my day, was saying, "Up, oh, bring it on!" Yeah, well, they're pulling away at the front now. Uh, got a nice little gap. Oh, Reaper here behind. Let me jump on board. It looks like he's uh, about Reaper to put pressure on Spring Con. Yeah, so let's have a look and see if we can grab third place from Spring Con. And then we've got uh, Swartwolf and Buck Toon and fifth and sixth. But there is a gap between them. Uh, it's like um, Swartwolf and Buck Toon is finding itself between nowhere and somewhere. But what what do you guys Ezekiel think? Is this going to be a B-Boys 1-2? Oh! Well, by the looks of it, it will be. <laughs> K-Tech, how are you doing? Reaper up into P3. Oh, but he goes out on the dirt. Loses out there. He could lose out to fourth. Twartwolf's definitely got the drive. Oh, dear. Well, Wolf is putting him under pressure here. Okay, so it looks like Aster is now pulling away from his brother Mick in second place. I'm, I'm inclined to agree with you there, Goof. Um, the pretty dominant at the moment. Reaper for third, yep. Yeah. Although he well, Sprungcon is doing a very good job at holding third. He place is, enough. and swap. He's got a two-second penalty. Yeah, it's it's going to be a three-way scrap. Um, I don't think anyone's going to run away with third. Well, it doesn't look like it at the moment. Okay, so let's quickly go through the penalties. No. Here we go. Sprung Con is doing a very good job. What chocolates are these? 
Um, on board with Swart Wolf, who's looking down on Reaper and Springcon. He wants to get involved in that action. Whoa, Springcon looking up the inside. Reaper says no. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just heard a very strange noise in the party and I realized someone actually joined the party. <laughs> Is that what that was? I, th I thought uh, your missus was asking for a hot chocolate or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, it couldn't have been you because yeah, <laughs> because you are. Yeah, but talk um, about product placement. <laughs> I actually want a hot coffee, um, a hot chocolate now. It's made me less <laughs> bugger. Right, oh, spring con out on the grass. Swart Wolf is looking to take fourth. He can do okay. it. So I'm busy going through the penalties here, yeah, so Mech and Aster with no penalties, uh, Reaper also zero penalties, Sprinkon with two seconds penalties. Oh, I like that. I've got a comment here in the chat. The B team belong in the A team. Don't <laughs> so simple but effective. I like it. Oh, Sprinkon coming back. So we've got a good battle now between Swart Wolf and uh, Sprinkon. This is going to be the only battle for now. I just want to see where's Ezekiel on track. He's just nursing his police outfit <laughs> through the, um, the first sector now. He is not too far Ooh. back from Buck Toon. Sprinkon, sorry. Uh, he's still got a just managed to get yeah. past Swart Wolf there on the inside. It was a neat little manoeuvre. Both of these guys are on the BMW, so it's uh, it's good to see how they set up the cars to suit themselves. So Swart Wolf also has zero penalties for him so far. So the biggest penalty gainer so far is Sprinkon with two seconds worth. Buck tuned with a half a second penalty. Sprinkon just got another 0.25 through the Schumacher aces a couple of good looking BMWs this definitely and they're having a good battle there's nothing in they're this on, uh, they're matching each other Hollywood cams you can see the lights Swartwolf going up the inside oh, then looking the outside Kane not able to get past. You can see the brakes glowing beautifully through the chicane. Right, Springcon diving in the pits. Not a bad maneuver. You might want to avoid the uh, battling that he's having. So, Aster with a 2 minute 10.2. That's a very good lap considering that. Um, Renta did a 209.9 yeah. as his fastest lap last time. So yeah. Only 0.3 off of, off of um, Renta's time, which is very good. Yeah, that's Especially in the car that no one thought was going to do well around. Uh, well, I think we've all learned a little bit um, with those Utes. Definitely. Yeah, Razor absolutely looks that way. Sometimes you can just slow yourself down too much, can't you, if you get into little battles. Okay, talking about little battles, what's going on? Do we have any? <laughs> well, the only battle was Swart Wolf and... Uh... Okay. Yeah, I uh, see here, Ace is uh, running away from his teammate even. Uh, and then Reaper on his own in third at the moment. Swarwolf currently in fourth, but we know there's a battle going on. Bucktoon fifth, Sprinkon sixth, Ezekiel in seventh. It's a shame we've got a couple of names missing tonight. I'm sure they'd love to have been here. Yeah. The biggest one that we're missing is Roadrat currently, because he could have had a good battle 
for the lead perhaps yeah. we'll never know now I'm just looking at this gap from uh, mech's position um, and it's just growing Easter's in the groove Mech also taking this very wide line through there I think it's for the exit of the yeah, corner because see. it looks like yeah. you just got a, a very good um, uh, acceleration out of that corner. It works, it does, yeah, exactly. They can wind it up so they've got more drive down the straight. Yes. The Reaper is not too far back from Mech my day. Now Mech now with a 0.25 penalty. Um, I don't have a DC. Do you have a DC on your side there, Iceberg? Uh, no. No. No DCs. Um, seven guys started and seven guys still racing. Yeah, but um, Sully unfortunately couldn't make it last minute. Alberts has electrical trouble. Um, we don't know what's happened to Road Rat. What was... I can't remember. There was a, a couple of instances. Some people couldn't sign in. Just one of those things. Well, I, I don't. Uh, I haven't heard anything about people not being able to sign in. How's it going, Remington? Good to see you, man. Um, but yeah, it's definitely there is a bit of. There was a bit of Xbox issue, so yeah, definitely could have been one of them. Um, but yeah, we're missing a couple of big names. Uh, Jean Me is not here racing tonight. Um, what are the laps? Uh, Sally, Roadrat. Well, the last lap that I saw for Ace it was a 2.11. Yeah, see, we're, we've got between two elevens and 2.18s at the moment. So Ace and Mech got 2.11s, Reaper 2.13, Swart Wolf 2.16, uh, Bucktoon 2.18, Springcon did a 2.25, but obviously coming out of the pits. Um, who did I miss? And then, oh yeah, Ezekiel with a 2.16.7 in the Aston. Very good. Aster still with the fastest lap, a 210.2. Well, Aster's uh, previous lap was a 211. <clears throat> so you've got Remington <laughs> on the back of the Reaper. Give Reaper some love. Uh, Remington, are you talking about my mic breaking up? Uh, you need to be specific, buddy. <laughs> I'm definitely not breaking. <laughs> oh, there goes my toe. <laughs> I'm giving Reaper some love at the moment. Some Hollywood cams. Uh, Razor, is it is it the mic or the the visuals? What what's breaking up, buddy? I need more information. Mic goes on and off. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, maybe I must talk louder. I'm going to unplug and I'm going to plug back in and see if that helps. Okay, uh, let me know if it's improving. Got some beautiful photo ops for the uh, replay to this race though. Stunning at night. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> okay, Ra Razor, I'll try and keep talking. As you guys can see, I'm on board with Swart Wolf now. Uh, I'm going to try and see if I can uh, manage a view around this car. Maybe as soon as we get uh, down the main straight with some lights, I'll be able to see the outside of the car, see how beautiful he has made it. Oh, read the penalties, you say. Okay, let me get to the penalties then. Um, as you guys can see, I can't see nothing on... <laughs> on uh, Swartwolf's car here, yeah? but uh, let's. Uh, well, you know what? I can also read the distances, the time intervals. So you've got uh, Make My Day four seconds behind his brother Aster. Uh, Swartwolf twelve seconds behind third place, uh, which is uh, Reaper. Reaper is fourteen seconds behind Make My Day. Uh, Buck Tomb is thirteen seconds, and. Uh, uh, the sprint con was a, was a 23 seconds behind 
Okay, so is the mic better now? Is it still breaking up? What's going on? <laughs> Well, while you're sorting out your mic issues, um, I've got a debate in chat at the moment. F50 reckons that the, um, well, number one, that we should have an award for the best tail lights as it's a night race. I agree. Very good. Um, and he nominates <laughs> the Alpha. Apparently, it has the sexiest of all the tail lights. Well, is the BM so long? Um, and I'll work my way through and we can decide together. <laughs> okay, so it's... Oh, there we have <laughs> okay, so, the Beamer. Okay, so this, the issue is probably then on my stream. Um, let's try this. Is this... Okay, wait. This is very strange. I don't know how, how this issue can come to pass like this. Because they say when they listen to me on your stream, Gary, it's yeah. perfect. Right, okay. But as soon as they're on my stream, then it's not perfect. No, that's very strange. And I keep yeah. on breaking away. So that is that is completely very weird. Yeah, Razor, I'm... I mean, Gary's not... Gary, okay, can you hear me perfectly? Yeah. I'm breaking up in your ear. It's like silk. That is so, <laughs> that is so strange, though. But going back to the uh, brake light debate, the Aston Martin is definitely one of the nicest looking cars, but as far as tail lights go, eh. um, yeah, this one is not good. I'm on board with Ezekiel, and I'm also not liking uh, the tail lights on this one. Right, here we go. We're on board with the Alpha. Ooh, must say, it is cheeky. I don't know if it's smiling or angry, but it is looking good. And we're with Buck Tomb at the moment, and he's got plenty of space on track to do what he wants. Whoa, little twitch. I, I think. Uh, okay, um, I've increased the sound input on my stream now for myself. So hopefully that uh, made it a bit better, uh, Razor Lee. But yeah, I'll definitely have a good look into that during this week to see what the problem could have been or what the problem is and hopefully I can sort that out well Swart Wolf is choosing to dive into the pits here um, and it will actually give us a good opportunity to check out the tail lights in more detail I, I think the Beamers lights are definitely better than the Astins so it's up there okay so I believe Swart Wolf and Sprungcon actually had a battle before um, before Sprungcon went to pit, so let's see where Sprungcon and uh, Swartwolf comes out the pits from. Um. Well, this gap isn't getting any bigger between Mech and Ace at the moment. Oh, Dodge SRT. Oh yes, yeah. Also looks very good. We have a challenger in the chat. Um, they're also <laughs> evil looking eyes. Yeah. These, the, the ute, unfortunately, it's, it must be at the bottom. These are just pathetic. Yeah. There's no, there's no character, nothing there. <laughs> well, my favorite from last night was uh, the, the Audi. Um, oh, but the RS4. Tonight, Ooh, yeah. Yes, I think uh, for tonight. So we've got Ezekiel and Sprungcon actually batting, battling it out. But uh, it looks like it looks like he's got passed. Swartwolf manages to manage to keep oh, his fourth place. Oh, there was a little bit of contact between Spring Ezekiel there. going backwards. And Springcon, but no Springcon's managed to pull okay, away. Okay, thanks, Remington. That's good news. Uh, it sounds like I've sorted it out, so that is good news. <laughs> okay, we're, 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 we've officially taken the subject a little bit too far now. Go, uh, what, what is Goof suggesting? Um, if that light could dance left to right, you'd have Robocop. Oh, okay. Yes, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, awesome. Oh. Okay, guys, let me know if I'm sounding a bit better, if I'm not breaking up anymore. Uh, it would be useful for me. I've, uh, like I said, I've changed another couple of settings here. 
And it does look like I'm still breaking away. Oh my soul. I'm going to jump on board with Ezekiel because little does he know, I think he's actually coming under a bit of pressure behind. Rincon's still looking to break away. Hey, Razor Lee saying it's coming and going. Okay, Razor Lee, I've uh, changed a setting again. Um, the bar on my side looks like it's keep on going when I'm talking, so... I'm going to try and uh, see if it stays that way. For now, I haven't broken away what I've checked. So let me know if it's better. I'm going to leave it like this for the next five laps at least. And uh, let me know if it's, uh, if it's breaking again. Uh, Twigs, I think uh, everyone has taken the first pit, if I'm not mistaken. Everyone's gone back into the natural order. So we've got Ace Mech, Reaper, Swart Wolf, Spring Khan. Ezekiel and Bok Tomb. So that was the positions before, and now they've all gone back into the natural position. Well, I'm, I'm not sure if Ezekiel has put it though. Oh, he's cur oh right, currently because, in sixth. Yeah, because he was behind Bok Tomb, so I'm not sure if he put it very early. Um, but I think he was in seventh place from the start of the race, I so see. it could be, it could not be, so I'm not sure. Oh, sorry, and also Swart Wolf, because um, Springcon and Swart Wolf were battling, so I think maybe... No, 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 Swart Wolf was in the pits. I was following uh, Springcon as Swart Wolf pitted, and Swart Wolf uh, actually did a good job of staying in front of Springcon. Wow, yeah, he has done. And he done. actually increased that gap, you know, Right. Because the gap between Springcon and Swart Wolf is 18 seconds now. Now, I thought it was Spring Khan that had the uh, extra pace. I see he's also got a four-second penalty now. Whoa, Ezekiel losing yes. on the exit. Oh. Ooh, lucky he didn't have <laughs> sim steering. <laughs> um, I'm not sure that the front two pits already. Uh, Aster and... Uh, okay, Mech has definitely pitted. I don't think Aster has pitted yet. Right. Because Mech is now behind Reaper. So, in conclusion, Twix, um, we haven't got a frigging clue. <laughs> okay so razor like i said i'm gonna keep it like this uh, for another four laps if it doesn't break away then uh then we know i've got the settings right um also how's the rest of the sound can you guys hear gary can you guys hear the game sound well, that is two also two important sounds to hear i know i've got a, a much sexier voice than gary but um Ooh la la. Well. Oh, Ezekiel running very deep, but making it work. He's hanging with Spring Car. Okay, so the game sound is a bit low. I'm going to up it with 5%. Oh, Spring Car losing it into turn one. Front end completely washed out. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, and he runs into the back of Ezekiel. Ezekiel drifting. Oh, he's That's holding so it. Good. He's holding it. No, oh, no, no. Nice. <laughs> he's the drift. Oh, dear. Oh, these two are having a good battle now. I, I hope it stays friendly. Right, I'm going to jump on board with Spring Con. I, I think we're going to have a better really view. appreciate the old man. Here we go. We don't need the map for this, do we? I want to see as much of the action as we can. <laughs> well, I'm going to try and... Oh! Sprung on into the back of Ezekiel. A bit of payback, you'd say. <laughs> mm. Well, I think so I'm going to spring do on. Hollywood cams as they come through to the hairpin section here. Yeah, well, what I was going to say is uh, I think he did everything he could to uh, back out. I don't, I don't think it was intentional. Oh, a little bit of drifting there from Spring Con as well. <laughs> nice. I've got Razor B saying, by the way, these two guys don't like each other. Well, that's the first news I'm hearing about that. So do you have some inside information? <laughs> <laughs> is it because they're rivals from previously or? Share the goss. Yeah, we, we need some juicy gossip. 
Ezekiel is actually pulling a bit of a gap here on Spring Khan. I wonder if there's any damage. Let's have a look quickly. Um, transmission and engine. Engine almost 5% damage for Spring Khan. So let's jump on board with Ezekiel and see what he has. I was going into the pits it's anyway. Ezekiel into the transmission pits, okay, damage. So that's the sixteen percent. That's the battle done. Okay, so um, I've got Ray Lee saying that Gary, I should ask you about the last play date, play date on Forza. Uh, but maybe you weren't in it. I'm sure you, uh, Gary, was in it because Ooh. he made a stream about it. I, I was. I was in a play date. Whoa, nice drift. He almost didn't make it. Um, I, yes, I was in <laughs> one of the play dates. I don't know um, which one we're discussing <laughs> at the moment. Okay, Swart Wolf all on his own now in fourth place. Doing a fantastic job. He's 48 seconds behind Make My Day. And the gap between Reaper and uh, Ace that is now 30 seconds. Jump on board with Reaper. Yeah. And both of them still need to pit though. Now Mech My Day is catching up to the back of uh, Reaper. He's only four seconds behind him. All on his own at the moment. Oh, Mech My Day going on the kitty litter there. That's going to slow him down. I'm probably going to lose a second. Oh, he lost three seconds in that corner. Everyone's completely spaced out across the track at the moment. Um, quick rundown is Aista still in P1, Reaper currently in P2, Mech P3, Swartwolf really lonely though in P4, Springcon currently P5, Bucktoom is not close enough at the moment but he may be thinking about it and then it's Ezekiel in P7. So the gap between Ezekiel and uh Buck tomb I cannot see because the buck tomb has or oh, Ezekiel has been uh, lapped by the leader. Oh through, halfway through the race. Sorry, I've got it now. F 50s um just reminded me what you guys are discussing. Yes, I was in the play dates when those two were um going for each other. Um but yeah it, it is fun but if, when you hear it, it's like, whoa, because <laughs> they, <laughs> they, they just don't stop. It's like one after the other. Yeah. OK, that's good. Yeah, well, Racer, to, to be honest, I wasn't sure. I didn't know if they were friends or what. I just stayed quiet. Yeah. <laughs> that's the best thing to do. Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> mute. <laughs> Just listen to the argument. <laughs> <laughs> Popcorn time. And in, in, on, the, on the inside, you're laughing away and uh, <laughs> eating popcorn. <laughs> yes. it's, it's like that for me sometimes, you know. I mean, I haven't been on multiplayer for so long, but sometimes you get the guys who were just talking in open chat and they just ramble, ramble. And then sometimes <laughs> the, the rambling and next thing you know, like someone in the lobby just takes them out flat, you know, like they've had enough. <laughs> but you can, I can't there help but go. laughing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like suddenly we have someone asking for coffee. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> mm. You get you get strange people on online lobbies though. I've I've experienced it all, or pretty much all of it. <laughs> yeah. Some lobbies you can join and you don't even know that uh, your mic is not in a party or whatever, and no one says anything. And then the next lobby you join is just some guy chatting to his mother or to his girlfriend or talking about food and it's just like this guy's crazy you don't want the whole world to know what yeah. you're talking about yeah or like his, his audio goes yeah. through connect or something like that so the whole house is just going about their business you know it's like can you, can you get some <laughs> milk you know it's like open the door for your auntie and you're like well i'm in the middle of a race here what the hell's going on <laughs> Uh, you get some strange and funny characters out there. Yeah. 
<laughs> but these these guys on track at the moment, they're just able to uh, hot lap it, basically. No one's coming under any kind of pressure that I can see. No one is in a battle. We've got Swartwolf and Reaper with no penalty so far, which is very good. Uh, Aster with a one second. Make my day with one and a half second penalty. Sprunk on 4.2 seconds. Buck two with two seconds. Ezekiel also with a second penalty, so... At least we've got two guys so far keeping a clean race. Yeah. Yeah, the a AM guys did a lot better. Um, they didn't pick up any for a long time. There's one or two, but that was it. Yes. Well, if they can keep it to a minimum the, for the rest of the race, for these guys, it would be a good and I've start for them. I've got a wise reminder as well here from Gooster. He's saying that um, if Aster picks this one up, it's going to be five out of five for him. Yes. Clean sweep. Completely and unexpected. And he's driven against a, a lot of good guys as well. So Absolutely. Well, it's the yeah. semi-pro. These are good guys. Is uh, To dominate a league like this, it's not easy. In <laughs> a piece of equipment like this. <laughs> yeah, the Ute is not an easy car to drive. No. Obviously enjoying it though. The B team, I wonder if they're going to keep that name going into uh, the pros. I don't see why change yeah, it. Well, by the looks of it, both of them are definitely going to go up to pro again. Yeah. I, well, that, make my day. Absolutely. Be good to see him back in pro. Well, it's top and four. Then, uh, I don't think they can drop yeah. below top four now. I think they've no, got that. No, they are clear. Well, let's bring up the standings. Good call. Um, let's have a look. So they are Road Rat, who isn't present. So yeah, that means they're at least 20 points clear of Reaper in fourth. Well, uh, Aster is 30 points ahead of, of Reaper in fourth. So Aster will definitely not drop down. And uh, it's actually 32 points ahead of Reaper. And then you've got Make My Day. He's 22 points clear of Reaper. So yeah, that is, uh, he'll definitely not drop lower than second tonight yeah and unfortunately with sully not racing tonight sully missing an opportunity to go up to um into the top four so yeah it's gonna be interesting can't wait to see the end of this so we can check the points out yeah that's it no there's no points uh, Ray, to be calculated here, after that the uh, razor saying here yeah, that uh, the way um, Sprunkon and Ezekiel tuned each other um, <laughs> on that race. He doesn't think they could have been friends. <laughs> it was it was heavy, yeah. <laughs> Razorly <don't laughs> Razorly saying Sully is currently busy winning his own race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sully is uh, having a private race. Uh, tonight, uh, that's why he's not able to join tonight. But we'll leave it at that. <laughs> but, uh, um, Razor, I don't think uh, Skunkwood has read that message yet. I'm, no, no, I'm in on it. I'm in on it. <laughs> oh, okay, well, that's good news. So, Aster's previous lap, uh, 2 minute 11.3, so he hasn't improved on his 210.2. Ooh, I'm just having a, a little listen to this alpha. Ooh. It might not have the best tail lights, but it, it has the best sound. Oh, well, the alpha? Oh, yeah. I actually like Twin the Turbo alpha V6. Uh, I love it whistling. Yeah, no, um, I'm just. We, we hadn't concluded who won um, because we started well, talking about alien same. robots and things. I can't remember what the discussion was. <laughs> Well, I have to say in the semi-pros, I think the car with the best lights has to be the Alpha. Ooh, controversial. There was a Dodge mentioned and a Chev. Well, for this race, the night race where we can actually compete it, the car with the best lights has to be the Alpha tonight. If you consider only the cars that's in this race tonight, yeah. that we can actually see, it has to be the Alpha. Well, whoa! 
I think Spring Khan's intentionally trying to drift around the track now. Ace is coming to lap on the outside, neat and tidy. Oh no, don't collide. Okay, there we go. No, Some drift time. Spring Khan, Spring Khan is, uh, I'm going to give him some uh, Hollywood cams as he drifts. Yeah, I'll do the around same. The track. Hey, Rona man, how you Actually, doing? Got Welcome back. Yes, I know, I know, um, we've got, this is the first time this year we've had such a low attendance for the semi-pro guys, um, <laughs> so yes. we've got some drifting, here we go. Oh, brilliant, brilliant drift around the first corner, let's see what he does, can he plot a nice chain drift around the second part. Oh, beautifully held. Oh. The car's, not, oh, the car's not built for drifting, but he's doing a fantastic job of it. Looking very nice. It's got green tinted windows as well. Doing a great job there. Yeah, the, well, the metallic green on the car actually pops out beautifully. And comes through to the hip and beautiful drift nailed it oh, no it's not there but it's a corner before the hip and sorry i want to see how it drifts through the hip and yeah yeah twigs i bet you were on track tonight now hey sprung gone drifting around this uh hip and yeah and we've got remington saying going to be an awesome conclusion for the pros next week yes man it's going to be a tough race again what made the pros uh, leaderboard so tight is that one race where the uh, Stang Gang uh, disconnected. I think they had network issues. So that, yes. that brought everything into play. Yes. Yeah, they disconnected on the first lap. Yeah. But they knew they had internet problems before the race started. So it made it very difficult for them. In Africa, it's always real. Oh, nice. Hanging the front wheels. <laughs> <laughs> right so we've got ace there still running away with this race i was gonna front. say i'd love to stay on spring calm but we need to check out in fact i can just jump <laughs> on board ezekiel i think he's just gained a position whoa oh a spring con <laughs> drift <laughs> he just Those cut straight very through close to ezekiel back Ezekiel was totally confused with what was going on there. Oh, Spring Khan goes into the pits for his final pit stop there. Make my day. Still in second place. Yep. Yeah. And he's coming around he's to lap to Ezekiel now. Yes. He's getting close. He was doing a good job, wasn't he, Ronan? He was sharing clips uh, during practice as well, so he was obviously having a good time in that Beamer. Okay, so Mech making it past Ezekiel, neat and tidy. Don't... Oh, I thought Ezekiel was going to have a go then. <laughs> Shades of Ocon and... Um, it was the Dutch lad, wasn't it? What's his name? Red Bull. I can't remember. <laughs> Mech's run away with it there. Yeah, but you can see Mech has been in the wars early in the race. Uh, the left side, or actually the right side of his car, you can actually see has got some uh, bumps. Right, okay. Bruising. Hopefully not carrying damage. We've only got eight laps left now. No, that was early in the race. He wouldn't have had any damage after his first pit. So. Verstappen, there we go. Thanks, boys. I don't know why it didn't come to me. <laughs> but it, it was Ocon on for Verstappen, wasn't it? I did get it right, at least. Oh, in fact, don't yes. don't tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> right, Ace is <laughs> no, jumping in correct. the pits. Okay, so where's Reaper in this? Let's have a look. Oh no, catching some dirt. Get off Hollywood cams and see what's going on. 
And we've got Sprinkon just in front, still drifting his way around. <laughs> hey, he's just enjoying the race. And make my day now coming to complete his uh, 19th lap and start to 20th lap. And Ace did manages to do a pit stop and still comes out in first place. Now Mech my day still needs to pit and uh, these two are together on track now. Oh, almost out breaking himself there. Easy to do though coming off the straight. Yeah, I think there's a there's an air of uh, festival about this race tonight. Um, uh, I think everyone senses that the, the B team have, have got this by the short and curlies. Oh, and we've got Make My Day running into the back of Aster. No. Ooh, slowing down to let Aster pass again. <laughs> Make My Day taking first place now, but Make My Day still needs to put. Seven laps to go. Can Aster uh, fight back for that? Uh... So Aster had managed to gain more than 20 seconds on his teammate. Yes, and he takes the lead again back from Mech My yep, Day it. through the Schumacher S's. What can Mech My Day do? Ooh. Oh, Mech trying to he come is. up the inside again. Oh, my word. Is this is close. Whoa, a little tap. Oh, but oh. a little tap. Almost oh. sent him out on the dirt on the oh. exit. On the inside. Oh, make my day. Just cruises past Aster. Yeah, he's tough on the outside going through there. Oh, don't, the don't. Oh, oh no. Aster. There's no Using room. There's no room. Using his brother to turn. retired there for make my day and you can definitely see the line that Aston used he had a much better drive out of the final corner look at and that he's up on the inside Ooh. of make my day hard on the brakes to the first corner that's Aston right cutting very deep and defending the inside again well f50 just pointing out Mech here there's uh max yeah. got more penalty points so uh he needs to get gone well but mech still needs to pit though oh Aster has already completed both his pits so this is just for show now <laughs> Aston now is at 2.75 3 penalty. seconds for Mac. So there's only 0 0.2 difference This is like our Monster Energy Boys last night Putting on a good show I <laughs> like it <laughs> That was a good show though And also talking about last night, um, the stream was uploaded to YouTube today, um, but there is a few subtle differences. Mainly, all the information that we was talking about last night has now been put onto the video. So if you if you want to know more about the details, you can just skip through to the end or whatever and uh, just check it out. Sweet, sweet. Mech's actually pulling away. Yeah, make my day. Yeah, I just wanted to say Mech is now starting to get me, brother. Stay now. Some, uh, some Hollywood cam here. I love this section now where they go through uh, past the stadiums and the, all the floodlights. There you go. It's so cool. Yeah, it does. And you can actually see how the car looks like. Yeah. <laughs> and even down here, turn one. The crowd. Fantastic. 
This is definitely a bucket list as well, uh, going to Nürburgring. Yeah, that's right, think, Razor. Uh, yeah, they've got um, uh, green power, basically. They've got more energy than they need. Um, there, there was rumors going around that um, they were giving public money back because they were generating so much power. So, yeah, for sure. Oh, that's nice to know. Now, I think I think that the two tracks, or, well, there's more than two tracks, but... Uh, Two of the tracks that I would love to go and watch a race on would be uh, Nurburgring. Yep. And then uh, Spa on uh, Ovinge. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. That has to be also on the bucket list. Yeah, for sure. You can actually drive um, from one to the other. It's not that far, is it? In fact, Renta, you're down south. You could actually drive to Belgium, couldn't you? Across to uh, Nurburgring. No, Rental's probably going to tell you he's been there, driven. There. I know that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I own a, I own a garage at the Nurburgring. I only go at the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be surprised. <laughs> mm. Hey, by the way, I haven't had any Bob Ross tonight. Usually, drop some Bob Ross in the chat. Okay, so East is actually closing on Mech uh, while we're busy chatting. He's halved the gap. Yeah, I, I, I see that. I'm not 100% sure Mech still needs to pit. His pace. Well, he definitely needs to pit. But his we, pace we is too good. We can put a good. bet on it. We can put a bet on it. Oh, no. What am I losing? Fif 50 Rand make my day. Oh. <laughs> and Renter denies me Bob Ross at the same time. Oh, that's it. You, you guys are awful. <laughs> It's not your night tonight. No. <laughs> mm. But what if Mech had actually taken an early second pit that was missed? I doubt it. Okay, surely we can find out. I'm going to jump on board. Um, <laughs> there's no way. Telemetry won't give it to me, will it? Oh yeah, well, I'll know the, what the fuel, fuel he has. Yeah, actually. he's got 75% fuel. Boom. <laughs> oh, there we go. I got Bob Ross. We say drive through the tunnel, pop out in France. There we go. Road trip. Absolutely, it's not far. The ace that is on five percent uh, tire wear. Right, okay. And Mick is on ten percent already, so. Well, he's, he's going he's absolutely flat out here. I'm telling you, he's not holding anything back. <laughs> okay, so one last quick rundown. We've got. Four laps remaining. We've got Mech currently in P1, Ace P2, Reaper in P3, Swart Wolf in P4, Ezekiel in P5, Buck Tomb in P6, and Sprinkon. He's drifted his way all the way and he's still drifting down in P7. In fact, let's jump on board. It's a shame to waste all that drifting. <laughs> If you're watching oh, Spring Con, the, battle, the camera's on you, man. <laughs> so make my day now with a four and a half second penalty. And Aston was full with a 2.75. Reaper and Swartwolf, no penalties at all so far. Nice. The Swart Wolf is 39 seconds behind Reaper. The Reaper is 47 seconds behind uh, Aster. Oh, 
That's a world in track terms. Doing a great job Definitely there, Spring Con, loving it. Feeling a little bit guilty about promoting drifting during a race, but hey, it's the final. <laughs> I'm currently on board with Smart Wolf. He comes through the final corner onto the main straight. Blaze has just got the drive through there and he's looking a lot tidier here as well. He could actually have Mech. Oh, Mech was losing it there on the entry. Aster could actually have him at the end of this straight. Oh, no, he didn't get the exit he wanted. But he's still a lot closer. Yeah, it's just over half a second now. Taking that wide entrance, bringing it round, nice. Clipping the apex onto the straight. Oh, Mech. Oh, Mech my day just going a bit wide. Still the Ace fastest the, uh, time is that 10.2. Mech my day with 11.4. Oh, Ace that almost running into the back of Mech. I was getting way too close for comfort. Two laps to go. Two laps remaining, yeah. Aster's definitely not looking to settle for P2. see what's going on yeah penalties um, so yeah mech 4.5 ace the 2.75 that's going to make a big difference uh, Ezekiel 3.25 Boktoom 3.5 Spring Khan 6.5 do we have any battles besides the front two mech my day's previous lap was a 2.11.4 Water with a 214, Ezekiel 217, Aster with a 211.3. Well, it looks like that Reaper's just made his way past Buck Tomb now, and Ezekiel is being. Oh, he's passing Spring Khan, obviously drifting. So, yeah, this front two is where the action is at at the moment. Whoa! Aster took a big <laughs> chunk out of that. <laughs> He's probably going to get a bit of penalties on that. Let's have a look. Yeah, he has 0.25. So, 4.5 for Mech, 3 seconds for Aster. What? Well, 2 laps to go. A Reaper County. We've got the same here in chat saying Laka, Aster and Mech. Yeah, they're doing a very good job at this moment. Well, if, if Aster's taken the win, has Mech taken second place in each race? or has No, uh, Mech has actually finished, I think, third in the previous right, race. Right, okay, okay. So it wasn't yeah. a clean sweep by the, the, the team, no. but I mean, it's as close as you're going to get, isn't it? Yes. The Reaper starting his 26 lap now. So between now and um, the Pro Finals, we've got the ACC Forza race. And yes, there's something we've got. What's happening Saturday? Isn't there a race Saturday and Sunday this weekend? No, no, only Sunday. Just the Sunday, right. And then, okay. the, yeah, the, the next Sunday is the ARC. And then the following Sunday, okay. So it's Sunday, Monday, yes. and then the following Sunday, okay. 
Yes. And then and obviously then the Tuesday SSR. Or the Tuesday after pros is SSR. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, so then it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, right? I knew, I knew there was a lot of racing coming up, so this weekend uh, it's going to be ballistic. <laughs> yeah, a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then again Sunday. Oh. Okay, they're going to come around and start their Swartwolf. final lap. Swartwolf doing a good job in fourth place. But you know, we're talking about Aster having um, a clean sweep. If Mech takes this one, it's not going to be the case, is it? He is. That gap has really opened up as well. I don't know if Aster made a mistake or if uh, Mech managed to find a couple of tents somewhere. Well, make did a 210 the previous lap. Well, that'll explain that, well, that then. Could ex yeah. <laughs> exactly. This deserves Hollywood cams. Boom. Yeah, now make my day now. 210.1, yeah. 210.1. That's a very fast lap. Have a look at the penalties. Mech with still four and a half. Oh, Acer also 4.7 in penalties. Sprungcon 8.7. Buckjum three seconds penalty. Can you believe still that? And Swartwolf no penalty. So he's gained one more than almost two seconds in the last what lap and a half. I think that was a big cut that he had at the final right. corner or the that final she came. On board with Mick as he comes. Yeah, I'm with him. Through the final chicane. Neat and tidy. Hollywood cams. He's got only <laughs> he's got one light in the front missing. He doesn't care. He he's only needs one. Oh, is he holding up for his teammate? Yes, he is. Looks like he is. Oh, fantastic! We had the monster boys last oh. night. Now we've got the B boys tonight. And now it's. Look at that. Oh, good finish from them. Well done. Well, well done, guys. Done. Yeah. Not the final we expected, but those guys have dominated this series, so they deserve yeah, everything. Yeah, definitely. In the Utes, it was unexpected. Okay, so let's bring this map up. Whoops, nope. Got me yet. There we go. Reaper in third place, coming through to that uh, final sheet. Oh, no, wait. He's only coming through. Yeah, it is the final chicane That's now. That's it, the end of the back straight. Let's jump on board. <laughs> Razor copycats. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't put a, a, a trademark on it, so they yeah. could... <laughs> well, that, that's the kind of behavior we do want to see people copying, so very nice. You have GG's all <laughs> yeah, around there from good. Renter. Yeah, good stuff. Well done, Reaper. Solid okay, so P3. Got... No questions very about that. Good drive. Swartwolf in fourth place. He's on the. Where, where is he on track now? He's also on the back straight now. Coming towards this final chicane. He is. Ooh, I got a, a nice close up there on the rear tail lights. Uh, they've just gone up from third to second. That was really nice. And the headlights look pretty cool as well, actually, on the Beamer. Here we go, Swart Wolf bringing it round for the last time. Good stuff, man. Great drive. Great series. Well driven fourth place. Oh, and it gives us a, a nice drift over the line. Talking about drifts, Ezekiel is Spring Con still on track? 
Yes, yes. Okay. down. Okay. We've got Ezekiel in fifth place. What happened to Buck Two? He hasn't dropped out last minute, has he? No, he's still racing in sixth place, but he is behind the Ezekiel. Right, now. okay. Must have had an incident. It could have been. And this was his first season in the uh, semi-pros as well for Ezekiel. That is true. Whoa! Losing the front oh, end. Oh, he completely misses <laughs> the f that final chicane. And coming around the final corner. Uh oh, I've got a black screen. Uh, we haven't lost anyone okay. by the looks of it. That's good. There we go. Ezekiel, Ezekiel drifting it. Drifting <laughs> over the finish line. Baktoum down in sixth place. Here we go. We've got some spring con drifting. <laughs> Bug tomb also drifting uh, through this uh, chic, um, hairpin here, yeah, coming through to the, the Schumacher S's now, giving us a nice drift. That livery just pops as well. It looks fantastic, especially in this light. Oh, which one is that now? A uh, spring con. Oh, yes, yeah. That uh, metallic green has got on the side. It looks very nice. Doom taking a piece of the cake there in well, that I'm chicane. I'm just thinking we're still um, hoping there's going to be some drifting um, hosted by Sprinkon soon. Um, we did mention putting something together, was it? It was drifting, not drag racing. Am I correct? Yes, drag racing. Yes, drag racing is done by Nine Cop and, and, and uh, okay, for yeah. RSA. Yeah. Um, I say Buck to drifting over the finish line in sixth place, and I've got Spring Con. Spring Con is still one lap Ooh. down. Oh, he goes <laughs> into the pits. I think he's just fooling around now. There we go. Stand innovation for Spring Con. Yeah. Hey, he's still got one lap to go. We might time out. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Let's wait and see. But he's still got one lap to go. Okay, Sprung Con is still drifting in his final lap. And giving us some nice angles. Yeah, you can see uh, in the light sometimes, uh, you know, it just catches that um, livery the, really that metallic, nice. Yeah. yeah, that metallic green and blue. I don't know what color it is actually. It looks like a green and it pops nicely with the white. I think that body kits are going to need some uh, TLC after this, though. Oh, there's a lot of this car that's going to need some TLC. <laughs> and some new tyres.
do you know whose car is going to need a lot of TLC? Um, who was it from last night's race? In oh, the that rolled it. Oh, Spreekon's losing <laughs> it. Catches it last minute. Very nice. <laughs> Uh, that Aston Martin from last night was completely gone. <laughs> he dragged it over the finish line at the end. There we go. Oh, and he timed out. <laughs> okay, let's quickly go have a look at the results. So we've got Mech My Day actually winning the race with seven penalties, four and a half seconds worth. Um, from his brother Ace in second place. And preventing his brother and teammate from getting five wins out of five. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting one. And then we've got Reaper in third place. Uh, well done to him. And no penalties as well. Swartwolf in fourth place. No penalties at all. And then Ezekiel in fifth place. Uh, 3.25 second penalties. And uh, Bucktoom finishing in sixth place. Ahead of Sprinkon who did not finish. And he did four pit stops. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got uh, Razor Lee here. Uh, batted zero. Poor car. Got properly batted. <laughs> yes, it was bad to zero. That is correct. <laughs> right, so there oh, we go. Good. The semi-pro final uh, is complete. Yes, now it's up to the pros next week, Monday. What can they do? But yeah, uh, before that, we've got uh, this weekend on Sunday. As you guys can see, the um, ACC race that we have on Monza with only BMWs, the Forza GT class. Yeah, and the important be an epic race. information, um, we are creating a channel on Discord where Renter is going to be sharing his tune details and all that kind of stuff. So He's already done that. Oh, is it done? Oh, it's, it's, it's up. There you go. Yes. We're so efficient. <laughs> it's already done. <laughs> so yeah and the tune is already <coughs> shared on there so it's uh, good yeah so there you uh, go guys can go out and practice so long and uh, these cars actually look closely balanced so yeah yeah well times done wise to, to rent on his tunes yes no definitely well done um and then the sunday after that uh we've got the arc race um so as soon as you guys see this post uh on facebook that's when the um, entries will start and then the first 16 guys to enter that's the 16 guys that's going to race yep so that's it we will catch you all online next time um and listen thanks very much we really appreciate it and uh, we'll hope we'll see you on sunday yes thank you very much and have a lovely evening cheers guys